breaking things. What's up everybody, my name is Fanil. I have discovered the perfect Streamlit component if you're into chatbots or natural language processing. This is called Streamlit Chat, it is made by Yash Power, and what it does is render chat history in a kind of chatbot WhatsApp messenger style. Let's see how we can use it. I don't know how to. From the help method, we can see that it takes as input a message. Who is the one who sent the message? Is it me or or bots and then I can also change my avatar so here's an app with two messages store those inside a list of documents each document storing the message and the user who sent it and then I can call ST message on each document from the chat history list to render the actual conversation hello bots I think we are ready to build our first chatbot in less than one minute. Mind you, I don't know a lot of NLP, so I'm going to download a random model from Hugging Face. Blenderbot it is! Now, let's add a text input to the application so I can actually chat with my robots. What I want to do is, when I press enter, I want the Hugging Face model to generate an answer. Good morning, Vanilla. And then I will store the message and the answer inside my chat history. And then Streamlit is going to rerun, read the chat history, and then render the full conversation from start to finish. Let's store the chat history inside session state so that it is not killed by any Streamlit rerun. Build a callback method that is going to run each time I'm entering text inside the text input. This callback is going to generate an answer from Hugging Face Bot and then store the message and the answer inside the chat history. And there it is, I can now chat with my own personal bots about my life, content creation, whatever. That was our first chatbot, go have a look, it's a really fun component, and then I will let you improve on the model. See you next time, happy streaming! Wondering.